I'm delighted to be working at Manchester Business School where I've got a really stimulating job. Uh, my job is to bring in consulting opportunities from clients and put in front of them a, uh, a range of MBA groups of five or six who are at the end of their 18 month MBA. Um, the groups uh, prepare bids uh, to the clients and then the client can see up to three groups and a bit like a beauty parade decide um, which group uh, they want to see. Um, so let's say I send them 12 bids, uh, they can see up to three groups. Um, the, each group can prepare up to three bids for clients and so we've got a complex matrix. Um, at the end of it, we will have uh, the vast majority of clients being matched with uh, a really exciting and committed group uh, supported by a supervisor. So it's complex, it's exciting and challenging, and uh, nobody's getting much sleep at the moment as these uh, bids are, are, are being prepared. Um, the clients are excited, are they going to get a group or not? And so uh, I just thought it would be really useful to people who are thinking of engaging with the business school in the bidding process, or who are interested in possibly doing an MBA at Manchester Business School, just to see how it works. So we're going to have a chat to uh, one of the guys who's part of, of a team, uh, to see how it is for uh, for him okay so um you had a choice and uh, of who to work with in your team uh, how did that work how did you decide who to work with well for me it was very clear the people that i would have on my team are people that i'd worked with in previous projects that we had at mbs during our mba they were smaller projects generally or maybe even other client projects uh, because these are the people who i knew that i was comfortable with that i knew would work hard uh, that you can get along with, you have to have that kind of chemistry which is intangible and that we're intelligent people um, so you need all that mix and that's sort of how my group came together. Great, thanks very much for that. So you've decided to bid for, um, you can bid make bids for up to three clients. Uh, how did you decide which ones to bid for? The decision was uh, a fun process I would say uh, our group, we reviewed all of the bids and we each came up with our preferences and ultimately we decided on the priorities which won what we felt were projects that we can meaningfully contribute to what the client was needing based on our experience, based on our skills, but also what we felt would be something that would help us in our future career development or our pro uh, professional interests. So it was making that sort of uh, balance in how to decide the three priority bids. Okay, so you started on Monday to formally start creating your bids. Uh, how many hours a day are you working on it and uh, sort of what's going on? So we are, um, it seems that we are every day increasing the hours that we are putting in uh, because as we move forward in the getting this final bid together, we're uh, figuring out more and more details and becoming very clear on what it is that we're going to do and how we're going to deliver. So I would submit that we started off perhaps only doing a couple of hours a day, um, but as we're getting closer, that is increasing. Um, fortunately, the MBA has been uh, designed such that um, we have the ability and that flexibility to dedicate so much time during this time period to the IB project. Okay, so um, in quite a few days' time, about sort of eight to ten days' time, You'll be sitting in front of a client um, who will be uh, expecting you to pitch to them for 45 minutes uh, and convince them that uh, you're the group to do their project for them. How are you going to go about that? Well, from our perspective, uh, we want to make it very clear to the client that based on what we have understood from their brief, this is what we understand is going to, at the end of the day, the information, the new knowledge they get is going to make them happy. These are the key things that they need to understand. This is what we will want to first share with them of our interpretation. And we would also want to share with them is how do we go about um, getting that new knowledge and that new information. So that would sort of set the stage of how we look at um, delivering to them what they are needing. But then perhaps even more importantly in having flexibility in what we've seen is to be able to then talk to the client and engage the client and get them to just be able to share more to help either confirm that what our understanding is correct or to be able to say, no, you need to slightly adjust it. 
but still it shows that we are very enthusiastic and we've really thought this through and we've put together a nice methodology to try to help achieve their goals. Okay, so you're obviously a very strong group. Uh, let's say that all three clients that you see all say we want to take you on. How are you going to decide which one to go with? Well, we've actually, as a group, we've already decided that. Um, subject to what may happen in the meeting, we have our priorities. And we have decided those priorities based on what we felt was, one, which one do we feel that we can deliver the best product to? So which of these projects that we have found do we feel that we can provide something quality, that we can stand by and we can feel proud of? Uh, second, and equally important, I would say, is how does this fit into our future career aspirations? Is this going to help us in progressing in our career? Is it going to help us in making that link in that next step? So that's how we have decided in going through to uh, determine who we would say yes to or not. Splendid. And uh, a final question, sort of fast forwarding to um, next April and you've completed your international business project. Uh, at this stage, and we'll ask you again in April, what would success look like to you? I would look at success in two forms in terms of the IB project. First is, did the team at the end of that IB project have an amazing experience? We Have we built not just very good professional bonds with each other, but have we also built very strong friendships that hopefully will last a lifetime? Because we will be working very intimately together for weeks and months on end, and if we don't have a good experience, then it won't be successful. Second, and equally important, would be, were we able to provide those one, two, three, or five pieces of nuggets of information that was new knowledge to our clients that really helped them in their decision making and, and for them to move forward in improving their business or growing their business or turning their business around. Thank you very much. That's been fascinating. Lovely. And good luck. Thank you.